Hi everyone, Yurana here and welcome to my channel and today I have a very special video for you It's a tour of my home studio So my home studio consists of two rooms that are dedicated full time to my photography First room is this one which I'm currently at is a dressing room and it has kind of my editing corner and where I keep all my props and crowns and jewelry and the second room is actually my studio so let's start with the this first room so here first let's start from this side is here is a tool skirts and tool skirts is a great addition to my personal studio I do portraiture and I do in studio portraiture all the time so of course it's not for everyone if you do all type of photography but because that's what I do fantasy glamour style photography that is definitely a great addition and these skirts I made myself and there's quite a few of them these are made of tool and I made them myself and I must say they paid themselves over already many many times over and my clients just love them there was just majority whenever they see them they really want to try them on and have the pictures wearing stuff like that because what woman doesn't want to feel a princess or a goddess so yes this is a great addition of, for my studio and also i have some kind of like a props and if you see yes it's like a shiny materials that you can wrap someone in it's beautiful it photographs amazing and then you see there is kind of a little kind of bag with a different tool fabrics and I use them to wrap around for to balance the skirts like for dress up the skirts uh, in case if client doesn't have anything to uh, pair them with and next of course uh, my pride and joy jewelry displays uh, this is my own collection that I've created myself uh, I think over in 10 years and yes, these are great addition to my collection. Um, I'm sorry, this is a great addition to my studio and my clients just absolutely love it. And of course, this is so great that um, I'm able to give my clients absolutely unique ability and unique experience and unique opportunity to use this jewelry and have a picture taken in it. And of course, when we're talking about unique and exclusive, I have to talk about my crowns look at all of them oh they're just so gorgeous and some of the crowns I've created myself and some of them crowns uh, I have my mother created for my studio she's an artist as well I guess it's running our blood and yes like this beautiful purple um, crown my mother created and this one is one of the most popular ones this one they it's loved by so so many photographs amazing as well these crowns are also great addition because they've been uh, they chosen by my clients so many times of course whenever you have interesting props this is definitely an add-on for your studio and uh, a great way to give more service for your clients and interest them and make stand yourself apart from everyone else whenever you have the special things in your studio to offer for your clients of course next then we go into my editing studio and i have my computer i have my back vacuum tablet if you see it and if you edit pictures yourself and if you're serious about editing i would definitely suggest you to get some sort of the tablet because edit with mouth it's possible absolutely but it's entirely different it's so much more efficient and comfortable so I believe uh, the ones that I have is vacuum into pro a medium size and also what I have I have a bunch of SD cards and I also have um, uh, this is a calibration this this is a color monkey display this is is for the calibration uh, I calibrate I calibrate my screen every month and if you don't really know what is this um, this device help you it has device and it also has software that you install to your computer it helps you to balance the colors and the lightning on your screen because all devices are different and it makes it kind of the most accurate colors and lightning of your skin um, on your screen <laughs> I apologize uh, which ensure that the pictures whenever you edit um, the colors is 
are the more the most accurate. It's very important if you're a professional photographer, calibrating your screen is important. Now when we go to the next side now there is a mirror which is of course uh, should be in every dressing room and this is what you see uh, this is you might, might be wondering so here I present my pictures let me find one so I'll show you and this is how I present my pictures to my clients just like so and then I'll have them all lined up on the three shelves little shelves and this way I kinda, I, I'm able to present the images to my client. Now, a little suggestion for you, maybe I have to do a separate video on this, but I'll just tell you. If you wonder how, to, how I made it and how if you want to make the same for your studio. Now, these ones are, I don't know how that called. Do you know the thing that um, when you put it in between the wall and the floor, on this angle when the floor meets the wall, you know how it, I'm sorry, I don't know how it calls. So I just went to Home Depot and choose the ones uh, that kind of look like a shelf that would uh, be appropriate shape. And in order not to not to drill the wall, I actually use, if you can see, I actually use double-sided Velcro that I also pick up at the Home Depot. And this one, uh, industrial grade, so this is the one that the heavy-duty one that can hold um, quite heavy ones, even though the pictures aren't heavy, but just to make sure that it will not fall apart. And this way it's actually removable, so if you need to take it off, you can, and you don't have to drill your wall. So whatever, if you will want to move it later on, you absolutely can. Okay, and now um, we're coming to the studio. So this is the other room that I have. And this one just kind of... An empty room. I wish, I'll be honest with you, I wish it would be bigger because sometimes I feel it's too small and some projects I'm just not able to make just because of the size of it. But it's just such a convenience to have your studio in your home and you're able to work whenever you want. So it's just hard to beat that type of convenience for me personally. Okay, let's start what I have in my studio. Okay, so in my studio I have two B flats. One of them is black and one of them is white. I absolutely love my V flats. I made them myself. Well, in terms of kind of, I made them into the V flat myself. They was quite expensive and it was quite a hassle because you have to hire a truck to deliver them. And the V flats themselves, well, they're not super expensive, but um, maybe I think per one I bought twenty five dollars a piece. So I pay hundred dollars for four pieces, two white and two black. And I just paste them together with gaffer tape, yes. This one was the gaffer tape. For some reason, white one holds fantastic. Like, I tape it once and it still works fantastic. None of them is untaped. But interestingly, the black one, probably it made from something a little bit different. And I tape it over many, many times, but it's kind of peel off all the time, so I have to tape it back so many times over it's just ridiculous and I don't know why I think it's maybe the quality of the paper is different but anyways uh, this is the single most amazing thing that you can have in your studio uh, especially if you're shooting natural light and you don't have any other lights this is a must on my opinion black V flat and white V flat is a must in the studio because this can be a reflector, a negative reflector, a fill, whatever. I use them so many times and I already said they pay themselves over so many times. So that's a definitely a, a must have V flats. If you want to know more, just let me know and maybe like if you want me to create a special video to talk more in depth how I made them and stuff like that, where to buy it. Also, I have two more now these are poly boards and poly boards, I, these was featured 
in a video that I made a stance when I create stance for my poly, for the polyboard now they just kind of they stand that I don't have a stance right now um, and this is just do you see just a polyboard that you can buy in a Home Depot or Lowe's and this was pink color I paint them in a kind of stone neutral gray color because this is the most versatile color than there can be in my opinion it goes with anything it goes with every skin tone like this is one of the most used backgrounds that i have i have color backgrounds but i rarely use them black white and gray is all you need trust me you can build whole business just and with these three colors now this one has um this one is actually black on the other side i painted black and you just, you know, you buy paint, you buy the roller and you just paint it in your garage. That's how it's done. So this one is black on the other side. Why? Because I really like to shoot in a black corridor. So it's like a three, like the background is black and on the sides is black negative fill too. And you just have light from the front. It creates really beautiful, like for fashion photography. Um, another one actually still pink from like it was original one because sometimes I use it if I want to attach a color background, I use that one because if I don't want to uh, attach it to the wall or I thought to paint it black, um, not black, white, but I have my uh, walls in the studio are white so if I need a third white wall I just use one of the walls in my studio. Anyway, so yes, then I have um, these two stools. And these are just black and light color and I bought them in Ikea. Again, everything in my studio, I run my studio extremely efficiently for a reason that first it's small size. I cannot just afford to have many things because I always have to move things around and I just cannot have too many things. I have to be very efficient with what I have. And again, this is a great addition and pay themselves over and over. Um, the black one I use for the black background and the light one for the white background. I have this cute, there is my folio box on it because I did another video. There is this great table. And it has a little, it's moving so it has a rollers. I got it from Ikea too and I, by the way everything was in my studio, I made myself. Uh, my makeup artists just love this table because it's, you know, whenever they start to do their makeup and they use um, the light in my studio, natural light, and I would put, we would sit the model by the window and we would use this table uh, so they can roll everything and it's very convenient and then they can roll it away. But whatever you need, your, your lenses, your accessories, whatever it is, this is a really great addition. Then I have two Apple boxes, which is also a must for every studio. If you need to step on it, uh, if you need to put your model on top or a lot of times model will be higher and taller than me. So I would stand on the Apple box just to have the same level and the, not shoot them from the um, lower angle. There is my little wind machine that I absolutely love. It's just the regular kind of floor fan, but this is quite a strong one. So yeah, um, I didn't, you don't really need any expensive wind machine, professional ones. I mean, it's great if you have one, of course, but you can just use a regular floor fan. Oh, wind and hair is always a win. Whenever I do photography, majority, 80% in studio, uh, I would turn it on to create this dreamy effect and it always looks amazing. So just a simple fan or if you don't have fan, you can use a blow dryer, hair blow dryer. The only minus is if you shoot and you don't have assistant, it will be very difficult to hold the fan in one hand and your camera in the other. I cannot say it cannot be done, it's just more difficult. But if you have assistant or someone just to hold the fan, just the blow dryer, uh, blow dryer will work as well closet there where there's all the different stuff there is my uh, stance that i did for v flat if you wonder how to make it there is a video on my channel which is the most viewed video <laughs> of the whole history on my channel okay and the last but not least of course i have a nice c stand it's very heavy with my uh, 40 inch softbox and i have a two flashes one of them right here and one of them 
somewhere there in the closet. That's the lighting that I currently use. I have only two speed lights and all my photography that you can see on my Instagram is the one that artificially lit is lit with only one or two speed lights. So yes, that's my studio. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions or comments, please do uh, tell me in the comment below section. Thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully see you next time. Bye!